Welcome to day three of Covidio Corner. Um, why the name? Um, Covid, because there's plenty of that around at the moment. Video, because that is what this is. And Corner, because that's a corner. So, uh, yesterday I was talking about how uh, a landlord had given his tenants six months off paying rent uh, as a result of the virus outbreak. And as you know, Covidio Corner is all about positive things. Uh, during this difficult time. So today we're going to talk about uh, ladies called Sophie. Now, first of all, the uh, first uh, lady I'm going to talk about called Sophie is um, pretty big on YouTube, actually. Um, her Twitter handle and YouTube handle, for that matter, is uh, Soph Does Life. And she has over, wait for it, one million YouTube subscribers. You'd think that, you know, somebody with a million YouTube subscribers is, is you know, confident and articulate and outgoing and, yeah, sure. But what I'm going to read to you now uh, about something she put out on Twitter, I suspect that not only her one million followers can relate to, but we all can. And it reads like this. Coronavirus, making me anxious. Then I get chest pains. Then do I have coronavirus? Or is it the anxiety causing the chest pains? Now I get more anxiety, and then you just go into repeat. And I can, I can relate to that, because the reason why I haven't gone, in, in eight days I've only gone out once, is because I've fallen into the government's category of um, being under 70 but at risk, because I'm asthmatic. So uh, the idea of me going out right now, bearing in mind the government is telling me not to, so I can I can relate to to that, and I was thinking about um, I was thinking about how we can look after our mental health um, while we're in this pretty difficult situation, and uh, I came across actually something quite interesting from the World Health Organization. They've put out um, specifically a leaflet um, during this period, uh, and it, and it's called uh, "Coping with Stress During the 2019 COVID Outbreak." It's got various um, tips on there. Uh, about feeling sad, stressed, confused, uh, and some tips. Uh, don't use um, smoking, uh, alcohol, uh, or other drugs to deal with your emotions. <coughs> uh, and that you can find on their website, uh, who.int, I-N-T. Um, and also, uh, for mums and dads, you'll find this uh, potentially interesting because sure they've got that leaflet for adults but they they've also specifically drawn up another leaflet for parents because obviously your children are going to have questions that you want to answer without freaking them out um, so go go to who.int and you'll find the uh, advice leaflet for us adults and also for parents to um, help answer their questions without freaking them out so um, and, and for example, actually one tip, um, I used to be a, a head of a news junkie <clears throat> and the way I have amended my behaviour, for example, uh, I pretty much won't watch the news. The only thing, in my opinion, that we need to be watching um, is, uh, if you're in the UK, the Prime Minister's briefing at about 4.45, 5 o'clock every day. And if you're in the US, obviously the, the President's update. Well, frankly, wherever you are, your head of state, um, your Prime Minister, President, whoever it may be, just listen to them and switch off the news because it's not going to do your head any good. Moving on uh, to something positive, uh, but uh, sticking with the theme of people called Sophie uh, for today. Um, so this Sophie uh, typed out a short note and put it through the door of all her neighbours. Uh, and it reads something like this. Uh, Dear neighbours, I don't want to seem like I'm overreacting but I thought it might be wise for us to pull together if, when, we need to. So we are Paul, Sophie and children and live at number whatever. Uh, I think it would be a good idea for us to have each other's contact details if and when we need assistance in the coming weeks. My phone number is this and our email is that. If you would like to send me a text or email then please introduce yourself if we don't know each other already. I can then share your number with anyone else that responds and hopefully we can all stay safe, well, and help each other. Thanks, Sophie. Well, there's two things I can say to that. Firstly, for the first Sophie, hashtag mental health matters. Um, so make sure you look after yourself, um, not only the two Sophies, but all of us. 
think about your mental health. And secondly, um, hashtag act of kindness. And that's what the second Sophie's doing right there. And it's people like that that are gonna help us get through the next few weeks and months. That's all from today's co-video corner. See you again tomorrow.